won the election, you described the Greens as economic fringe dwellers, but now you seem to be happy to do a deal with them on the debt ceiling. How do you, how do you reconcile those two points? Uh, Kieran, our challenge as a government is to clean up Labor's mess and to keep our commitments. And part of cleaning up Labor's mess is to avoid the sort of problem which the United States had recently uh, because they were running up against legislated debt ceilings. Now, um, the former government, in its last published statements, uh, said that uh, gross debt would peak at $370 billion. Uh, the Office of Financial Management said that you needed a $40 to $60 billion buffer of prudence. Uh, so plainly, uh, we need well over $400 billion as a debt ceiling just to cope with Labor's debt. Uh, and having created the problem, Labor were trying to make it impossible to fix the problem. Utter economic and political vandalism. That's what we've been seeing from the Labor Party. It's really very interesting, Kieran. Um, in the last parliament, we were determined and we fought very hard as an opposition to ensure that the government kept its commitments. This opposition is trying to ensure that we break our commitments. I mean, it's bizarre behaviour. It is truly bizarre behaviour. Uh, and the point I, I make to Mr Shorten is, how can he ever complain uh, about us allegedly not keeping commitments when he is constantly trying to prevent us <laughs> from keeping our commitments, of which the most fundamental of all uh, is the carbon tax? So uh, we will clean up Labor's mess. Um, and that means adjusting the debt ceiling.